initial investigation so far is that he was socializing with three other male persons, one of whom he had spent time with at the Colby Foundation, I believe it was at Tango Six Building, where an argument ensued between Matura and one of the guys in that group. The person that inflicted the wounds to him was encouraged by his colleagues to assault Matura. So we have detained three of them so far, and we are in the process of recording statements. And hopefully by the end of today, we can provide charge or charges on at least one of these individuals that we believe is responsible for taking Matura's life. All I can say so far is that it's an incident that happened between the two characters, between Matura and the person in question, while they were incarcerated at Colby. The extent of that incident, I cannot explain as yet, but as soon as I do, I will let you know. When Matura was stopped, he managed to walk off about 30 feet from where he got injured and collapsed near a uh, dirt drum. The neighbors in that neighborhood, if you notice, that neighborhood is very, the houses are very close together, called for police assistance. And thanks to their help, we managed to detain all parties that we believe was involved in this fight. I know that what we have gathered also is that Matura was recently released from prison and um, was probably out during curfew time with his friends, socializing. I believe um, this area is somewhere that they frequent a lot. And I do not know if any of them actually reside there because Matura just was just given as Corazal Town. No specific street or number, no?